Today on Two in the Zoo. Aren't you supposed to be doing chores with your sister? Gotcha. This is it, Katie. Your first draft. Are you ready? Oh, I know, right? Isn't it fun? Okay. Isn't I it exciting? All of it I instead of playing <laughs> Don't forget to search for the hidden zoo animal somewhere in this video. And when you find it, include the timestamp in your comment answering the question of the day. And we may just include your answer to the question of the day in tomorrow's video. Hey, zoo family. It is what day is it? Thursday night in our family. Today did not go according to plan. We had to do a live stream for our 30,000 subscriber milestone mark. And then we did a mailbag minute video. And then mommy started not to feel so good. Kind of like not sick sick, but just kind of queasy and just off. You ever have one of those days where you're, I don't know if it's your equilibrium's off or just whatever, just food's not settling well and anything like that. Well, that's kind of how she started to feel after, after we did all those videos. So we're just gonna kind of chill tonight and let her feel good and the kids We're are doing some the playoffs not not the playoffs you're close you're close you, you're using the right terminology with the sixth pick in the 2018 nba draft the orlando magic select we're watching the nba draft tonight uh, my team the orlando magic have the sixth spot in the draft and no that's not a good thing because that means we did an awful this year and we're in the sixth year of a rebuild if you're not a sports person i won't throw all the jargon at you and confuse you just let you know where our team is in a bad place. Are you worried about winning games? Yeah, what's our main concern right now? Jameer. Dwight Howard is a Laker, Pau Gasol stays a Laker, and they join a team that has Steve Nash. It's in a bad season. Evan Fournier, Bismack Biombo, Nikola Vucevic, Terrence Ross, and DJ Augustine. Yeah, if those are your five highest paid players, you're not going anywhere. No clear roster goals, which led to questionable trades, and having a bunch of young players that need the ball to prove themselves have been the reasons why they're bad. And we're trying to draft somebody good, and this year's draft is, uh, the draft class has a lot of talent. Uh, that's what you call a deep draft, and hopefully we can get somebody good. Hopefully we can get somebody good. Um, I don't have big preferences. Um, I'm thinking by the time we pick, unless we trade to go higher in the draft, if we're choosing sixth, we're probably going to get someone like Trey Young. I don't know. We'll see how well we do. How you doing, man? Playing video games? This kid's shirtless all the time. Logan used to wear nothing, nothing. You just didn't like to wear clothing. What's up with you, Caleb? What's up with you tonight? Yay! Are you doing chores back there with your sister? Aren't you supposed to be doing chores with your sister? Uh, gotcha. Got my jacket on. I'm repping my team. <sighs> there have been so many times I've been so disappointed in the draft night. In fact, I remember we're watching the NBA draft from Wake Forest, North Carolina, and I don't know who Aaron Gordon is. <laughs> Your Orlando Magic, number four pick, take Aaron Gordon. I have not been studying him. Dante Exum, Von La, Randall, everybody, but I don't know who this Aaron Gordon kid is. You can't be disappointed in Aaron Gordon. He's a great guy, great player. The year we drafted him, we were in North Carolina at one of my doctoral seminars, and we were watching the draft from our little apartment that we had to rent to stay there, and they said, uh, at number four, the Orlando Magic pick, Aaron Gordon, and I went, uh huh? So like I said, I can't hate on Gordon. I love the guy, he's, he's found his three-point shot. Um, he could be a max contract player, they're saying, but I mean, I'm just desperate to see my team get back in the playoff picture. Here it goes, I've got Twitter open, I'm following the Twitter feeds, looking to see if there's any trades. Often you can find trades on Twitter long before they're being talked about on TV. Here it is, this is it! It's starting! This is it, Katie. Your first draft, you ready? What's that mean? Oh, I know, right? Isn't it fun? Okay. Isn't I it exciting? All of it I instead never. of playing video. So, my team is on the clock. And a trade happened in the first five picks that changed the availability of the player I thought we might draft, which is Trey Young. He's off the board now. So, the guy who we didn't think would be on the board is Mo Bamba, and he's a a center and um, we are already experiencing a log jam at the center position so we don't need any more centers I mean 
If he's the best guy, though, you have to draft him. Then what are you going to do? you got three centers now. It's it's just ridiculous how things fall for the Magic all, all the time. All the time. This is the case. Here it is. With the sixth pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, the Orlando Magic select Mohamed Bamba from the University of Texas. On time, on target, and let the big dog get some. He has the longest wingspan in the NBA. Seven foot ten. Let me say it again. Seven foot ten. His wingspan is longer than the height of any NBA player. Think about that. That's nuts. He's an incredible shot blocker. So when we committed to doing daily vlogging, we said that you would get the good, the bad, and the ugly. And we had great intentions of doing an awesome video tonight, and then I got sick. So we had plan B, which was watching the draft. Which was really plan A. I was going to watch the draft no matter what. We had planned to cook a big Bengali meal, which we shared with you. Uh, when we were live streaming this morning, but there was no way I was going to try and cook that by myself with Melanie down and out. We just ordered pizza and we watched the drafts. We played in homeschool. So I would say that we were going to do it next week, but we have vacation Bible school all week and it's at night. And so basically we we're not going to eat at home all week. I think VBS is at like six o'clock, right? Mm -hmm. So there's yeah. no way we can cook a big and Bengali meal, enjoy it, and then get to VBS. Right. And we're serving. So we have to be there at 530. Um, so basically, as soon as Mike gets off work, we're heading to church. So not a whole lot of time to eat. So we'll probably do the Bengali cooking the week after. Sorry we couldn't bring that to you today. But we'll get to it, and when we get to it, it'll be top-notch. We're all looking forward to that meal. But before we go, we're going to give you the question of the day, which is coming from Logan. What is your favorite sports team? That's right. What's your favorite sports team? It could be professional. It could be college. Either one is fine, and whatever sport you want. And include that answer down in the comments below and don't forget to include the timestamp of the hidden zoo animal that you found. Shout out to Kaylee Gundry who found the hidden zoo animal yesterday and answered the question of the day what is your favorite pie and or dessert? She said that her pie that she likes the most is her grandma's pumpkin pie. Who doesn't love grandma's pie? Whatever kind of pie it is, if grandma mm -hmm. makes it, it's got to be good. That's my favorite. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.